Hey guys, it's Porcelain, and today I'm going to be doing a unboxing slash trying out type thing. Um, so this is a wig, and that's kind of like my normal thing. So um, the difference with this is it's a glow-in-the-dark wig that not only glows in the dark, but it glows a different color than it is regularly. So it's one color normally when you wear it. And then when you turn off the lights, it's a completely different color and it glows. So we're going to try that out and we're going to unbox that right now. So this is a big envelope in which it came in. And we're just going to take out the little pink box. Well, not really little. It's pretty big. Um, what's inside the box is what we're going to be looking at today. So... If you can see that, it is a pink wig, and that's why I'm wearing pink makeup today. It glows green. So, in the dark, it's green. In normal light, it's pink, which is really weird to me because it's like two opposite colors. I haven't unbagged it or anything yet, so... And the hair nut and everything, I haven't cut the lace or anything. I have my flash on right now, so this is as shiny as it will be. So here's what it looks like when it's not in flash, it's just you know, normal, more normal light. I do have a big white light behind my phone. So, um, anyway, it's very pastel pink. And now we're going to try out the, um, color changingness of it. So let me go turn off my lights and then we'll turn on a black light to kind of charge it. And go on the dark item. Um, it kind of needs like a charging of the light. It has to be in light before it'll just glow. So we're going to try that. I have a black light going now from this side. Okay. So under black light, it's a very white, purpley, it's very glowy, very white, purple glow. I'm actually wearing a white shirt. So yeah, you can see it kind of has a similar kind of glow to it, but that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is when we turn this off, we have a wig that is glowing green. So and here, here kind of shows you like what I mean about it needs to be charged up. The underside did not receive light, so that's dark. But the backside is whoop, still light but fading because yeah, it didn't have light for very long. So let's turn back on the black light because that charges it faster than normal light. Once again, this isn't black light, and we're just gonna kind of like charge it up. I'm just gonna ooh, expose it to as much light as we can. including the underside this time, so it'll glow nice and bright. It's crazy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to cut the lace, and I'm going to try it on, and then we're going to play around. So here's the wig. Um, this is with the flash on. So um, we're going to go ahead and turn the phone flash off. It'll still have the white light behind it. So this is just with the white light behind it, and no phone light, no flash, also no overhead light right now. So that's just with this. As you can see, it's not as shiny without the flash and normal light. So as you can already see, just turning on the black light. It's more whitish or lavender almost. So this is with black light and a white light. You can still see the black light because the black light's closer to me. Um, now I'm going to pull the cord on the white light. Look at that glow though. Okay, so this is black light and only black light. Ready? Now we're going to completely turn off the black light and we're just gonna see what a glowing wig looks like on me. Oh, now that's neat. I feel like a sexy glowing alien. Let's turn everything back on so I can tell you what I wonder actually look at you guys because I can't see anything. Go. Yeah. So, my question is, is if we put it in black light with my hand like this, will I get a hand print? I'm pretty sure I will. We 
go. Are you guys ready for this shit? Oh my gosh! It worked! I think it probably just went out of shape because I just moved some of the hair, but... I think this video is just pretty much going to turn into me trying to make little shapes. So anyway, I'm going to try and do like a llama. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to do this side because it hasn't charged as much and this one just pretty much automatically charges. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, that that's just weird. That does not look like a llama. That looks like kind of like a duck or something. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> Try this key shape. <laughs> Once again, got that weird hand thing. But if you don't look at the hand, that's pretty cool. And of course I got these skeleton clips. Let's see if the skeleton clips left the hand. Oh, yeah, they did. There we go. Let's turn this off. Oh! Oh shit, it's a speeder! I also like how when you move the hair, it kind of like distorts it, so now it's like a spider with a really fat butt. So, we're gonna try a bat. Oh, it got stuck in my hair. So the first part came out really good. I think this part got, oh, there we go. Got messed up when it got stuck in my hair, but there we have a bat. Let's try it. It's a little better. <laughs> it didn't look like a heart, but. I just want to turn the light back on so you guys can actually see me say bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed playing with this weight today. It was really fun. Um, I love how it just keeps shapes in the dark and stuff. So that'd be really like cool for a party or something. Like, so also, if there's like a cat butt in the shot, I don't think it is. I think the shot cuts off above it. But this little one wasn't having any of me having fun without her. That's the cat. And she's a good girl. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun filming this for you guys. Um, I hope you had fun watching me do weird things to my hair. So, bye!